Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast here on YouTube. I don't cover this that often. I've always been a reader. I don't cover a lot of books. I've always been the kid that reads. I mean, I was a kid that, you know, every year at the school when the school last book fair came through. Because most schools had it once a year. Ours did so well, we had it like two or three times a year. And of course, of course. My phone rang. Yes, I have a landline. Uh, don't ever put an ad in your local weekly paper and put your home phone number because they forget to pull the ad and it's still in there months after you sold the item. But I read a lot as a kid. A lot, a lot, a lot. Went to the book fairs and all that. Man, look at that. That ain't coming off good. Well, this is a book. I didn't have that hardback. I had this paper. 4B Goes Wild by Jamie Gilson. Illustration by Linda Strauss Edwards. I had this when I was in fourth grade, which would be about the time this book came out. If I remember the years right. I might be off by a little bit. I have to figure it out. Read it and fell in love with this. And I read it in there. Oh, she wrote a... Pre- oh, there's a book that comes for It's called... How does 13 ways to sync a sub? Got lucky within a few months of reading this. I was in a used bookstore and found a paperback from the same publisher with the illustrations of that book. I don't have that anymore either. I have a paperback that's oversized, no illustration. I'm going to go through this real quick, but be real simple. Okay, they don't even tell you on that. The synopsis, let's see here. What it is is the 4B, there's two classes, 4A and 4B. They're going on an overnight weekend, like, nature excursion at this campgrounds thing. And Hobie Hansen, the main kid, does not want to go. And here's some other books by her. Harvard Beer King King, Dot, Dial, Leroy, Rupert, DJ, Do Bananas Chew Gum. They're twisting. I've read Do Bananas Chew Gum. There's the kids. That's Hobie in the back, if I remember right. Camp Trotter, and they put a pair of underwear on it and they're just doing this kid shenanigans it starts off this first chapter they're going to the gym they're they're doing a fundraiser to raise money for the kids to go to camp and it's done up like a dinosaur theme there's uh one kid ends up eating a gold throwing a goldfish live and throwing up just shit like that and it's setting up that hobie hansen does not want to go on this trip and he thinks his parents might be getting divorced because he heard them arguing and like he says something to one adult and it becomes even more like that and the other thing they set up in this is that he buys a bunch of, they have like a raffle. And one's like a weekend away somewhere. So he buys a bunch of chickens saying, oh, my parents could use it. And he ends up winning like lunch with the principal. Who nobody, none of the kids like. I mean, who would want, see there's, there's all the kids. There's the kid getting read the, the uh, goldfish, there's the pterodactyl. I love these illustrations. This is talking about their, it's the next day after class. So it was like a Saturday or Sunday. It's probably Monday. They go to school to find out they're going to go on the trip. And the teacher's explaining to them. And the substitute teacher they made cry in 13 Ways to Sink a Sub is Ivana Slavonich, I think is her name. Let's see. Da, da, da. Da, da. Hold on. Glasses. And so what they're, they're doing court. They have court. They're, each desk is their own property. They have court. You have money. You sue people and shit. They're learning about the jury, the jurors, um, judicials. Ivanovich. Svetlana Ivanovich. I was like, okay, I know it's like a very Russian sounding name. It's not like people on my mother's side of the family. You know, for years and years as a kid, oh, we're, we're this, we're this. I'm like, okay. And I look into it. Yeah, y'all are that because the one generation of granny, great grandparents of mine came over here. They were in Russia and hauled ass from Russia to, we're Russian on that side, like at least half. And then this is them. They're getting ready to go on the trip and they're singing 13 bottles of beer on the wall. And there they are. There's Mr. Stars, Ivana. I mean, Svetlana. There's Molly Bosco. She's like the bully girl. And just, it goes on, and they go to a cemetery and do, like, look, they go to a cemetery and do a uh, graveyard, you know, rub, and it gets wet and rips, and they're upset and slept long, so they're going to go back later and get it. What's this zap? I'm trying to remember. I have not, oh, Miss Bosco, Molly Bosco's grandma telling a ghost story. And they end up going back to, oh, she pulls out, I forgot, he, the, Nick, Hobie's best friend, brings like this rubber hand he's going to scare kids with. And Molly Bosco's mama yanks it out because the lights went out. That's right. God, I haven't, I haven't read this. I haven't finished this book in a little bit. I'm going off old memories because you see where I'm at. Uh, when they had to go flashlights, the power went out. Oh, is this when he sneaks out? And he goes to call to check on his parents. Miss Ivanovich finds out and 
Doesn't rat them out. They end up escaping. Let me see. Is it here yet? Crocs in the grave. Oh, this is when they go through. They have to like stay off the grave. They do like people puzzles out in the woods. Miss Ivanovich. Down on. They go to a farm, and the woman kid Eugene's scared of everything. He's willing to grab eggs out from underneath the chicken. And it freaks everybody out. This is when they end up going out. Is this when they get attacked by the skunk? No, it's when Molly does the swami thing and she throws the shoe around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they go. They sneak off to the graveyard because they rip that picture of Miss Ivanovich. So they sneak off the graveyard at night to do it again and get trapped by a skunk. They're trapped in like this ditch by a skunk, and they've been told you get sprayed by a skunk, you get pull your clothes off, soak them into this, da, 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 and then bury them for a week, and then just throw them away. So that's the gimmick there. And there's a skunk. That's why this has the illustration I remember from being a kid. I'm gonna check the year in a minute because I think it was pretty new when I read it. It's like eighty something. The announcement. Just, oh, they're going home from there, and you find out Miss Ivanovich is going to be a teacher at the school the next year. And there is a book dealing with that, if I remember right. There, I've read two more past this. Oh, there they are coming back. There's Molly. Yeah, there's two more past this. I've read, okay, let's check the year on this thing. 83 is what it says on the jacket illustration, but that ain't probably the year. 83, so... Okay, how old are you in fourth grade? I was... I was nine. That works out. Holy shit, I did. This is not, it says first edition, it's not. This is a third printing. I was, this was a brand new book when I read this at four. Because I bought it because I was in 4A. And I'm like, okay, 4B goes, well, I'll read this book. It, looked, it was cheap as a paper. It's like three bucks. And I probably read the entire thing like in one, I bought it on like a Friday and just sat there at home all Friday evening reading it. I'm watching TV and I just read my book. Finish it and read it like two more times over the weekend. I love, and I'm so, I did not know there's hardcovers. And I think they're all made for libraries because everyone I found for sale has all these library stickers all over. It's got the plastic, you know, but hell, for the price, I'm so happy to have this. And when I read the rest, I'm slowly getting the full run of the Hobie Hansen shit because I found out there's, I knew of this one, then there's what? Hobie Hansen, you're weird, which is the summer after this, if I remember right. It's the summer before. He goes into fifth grade, and all his friends go off to, like, different things in summer. He's stuck at home, and he has to hang out with Molly Bosco. Then there's Double Dog Bear, which is the start of fifth grade. There's a new girl in school, and something to do with it. There's a certain type of breath mint. If you crush it on your back teeth, it makes sparks appear. And, like, somebody's having a birthday party at a roller skating or ice skating rink. And then there's one called Hobie Hanson, Hero of the Mall. That would be book five. I don't remember. I've only read it once. That's the one I read as an adult because I didn't know it existed. And I've got two more. I got like soccer something. I got no, it's like skeleton bones in the basement. Like there's six or seven of these so far. And I got most of them in horror back right now. But I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, ba boom. Look at that right there. Laters.